When I go to YouTube and search for how to write songs, I see videos about lyrics, melodies, chords, songwriting process, the list goes on. But these results aren't relevant. That's right, these results are not relevant. While these videos do discuss elements of songs, they don't discuss the song itself. A song is a higher level construct that's unique from its underlying elements. It's like searching for tips on how to make pizza and getting results on cheese, tomato sauce, and dough. After pondering why I was getting these unhelpful results, I realized the core issue is our definition of the word song. In this video, I'll break this down further and share my two word definition of a song. More importantly, I'll share how this definition led me to develop a songwriting framework that has transformed my songs and can do the same for you. To download my framework for free, head over to toomanyhooks.com slash story. This is the tool that I wish existed when I started my own songwriting journey. I use it for all my songs, at whatever level you're at, you may benefit from it too. All right, let's redefine a song. Earlier in my life, I had a mentor who taught me that great insights often come when you borrow theories and ideas from other fields. For example, biologists were able to sequence the human genome by using string algorithms from computer science, and neural networks, which are state-of-the-art in machine learning, were largely inspired by how the brain works. So when I realized that songs needed to be redefined, I began studying other creative domains like novels and movies. Here are their definitions. A novel is a relatively long work of narrative fiction, typically written in prose and published as a book. A movie is a recording of moving images that tells a story and that people watch on a screen. A song is a short musical composition. Now just to caveat, most definitions of a song require the presence of a human voice. I removed this component as I wanted this exercise to be applicable to instrumental tracks as well. Alright, I have a question for you. There's an element included in both the novel and movie definitions that's missing in the song definition. Can you find it? Pause the video and see if you can get the answer. Okay, hopefully you're able to find what's missing. The answer is that the song definition does not include a story component. You can see here that the novel definition includes a narrative component, and the movie definition includes the telling of a story. The song definition, on the other hand, simply talks about the musical composition requirement, but doesn't mention anything about story. So the question is, can we borrow this concept from novels and movies? Can songs be conceptualized as stories? To answer this question, I did some research and found that stories are composed of the following elements. Setting, plot, characters, dialogue, mood and tone, conflict and resolution, and theme. And here are their definitions. The setting is the place in which the story occurs. A plot is a sequence of events that make up a story. The characters are the entities that participate in a story. Dialogue is a conversation between two or more people. Mood and tone refer to the feelings or emotions conveyed in a story. Conflict and resolution refers to a problem that a character encounters and handles. And the theme is the central idea in a story. All stories contain all these elements. So if songs are to be conceptualized as stories, then each of these story elements must apply to songs in some way. For example, how does the element of setting apply to songs? Well, the setting of a song can be thought of as the genre or the overall sound world in which a song takes place. Next, a song's structure can be thought of as the plot, where each individual section, like a verse or chorus, is a scene in that song's story. Regarding the characters, each of the instruments in a song can be thought of as a different character in the story. For example, for rock bands that have vocals, guitar, bass, and drums, each of these instruments are characters that, one, very undeveloped from section to section to form the character arc, and two, help tell the story. Moving on, if the characters in a song are represented by the instruments, then the dialogue is the interplay between these instruments. For example, if your song has violin and cello, you could use counterpoint to create interaction and dialogue between these instruments. Other common instrument pairs that dialogue and music include kick and bass, piano and vocals, the list goes on. Looking at the next row, the elements of music can be used to create mood and tone in your songs. There are six elements, melody, harmony, rhythm, instrument or sound, texture, and dynamics, each of which can be used to convey emotion. For example, ascending melodies, major keys, energetic beats, and bright synths 
all generally lead to a more upbeat and happier tone than descending melodies, minor keys, slow beats, and distorted guitars. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about the elements of music, check out the link in the description below. One last thing to note, I didn't consider vocals or lyrics for mood and tone, as again, I wanted this exercise to apply for instrumental tracks as well. Next, conflict and resolution is very much related to the musical concept of tension and release. For example, tension can be created by incorporating non-chord tones, deceptive cadences, syncopation, asymmetrical forms, removing the bass, repetition, and crescendos. This tension can then be released by using chord tones, perfect cadences, onbeat rhythms, symmetry, return of the bass, development, and return to normal volume. And finally, we have the theme. In music, themes can be thought of as motifs, or small musical ideas that are repeated and varied throughout a song. Examples of this include similar melodic phrases in all choruses, or using various forms of syncopation throughout a song, or bringing back an instrument or sound that was used in the intro, the list goes on. Without motifs, a song would be chaotic, random, and unlistenable. Okay, so this is extremely exciting. We've completed this table and confirmed that all elements of stories apply to all songs, including instrumentals. This means that songs can absolutely be conceptualized as stories. And with that, we've now arrived at my two-word definition of a song. Simply put, a song is an audio story. But so what? Why do we care about this new definition of a song as an audio story? What are the practical implications for songwriting? Well, let's go back to our authors and filmmakers. Before they started writing their books and movies, they first have some idea of the story they want to tell. The story may not be totally fleshed out, but they have some sense of the narrative. On the contrary, we songwriters just start writing melodies or chords, often without any real sense of the underlying story. We tinker and tinker until we satisfy the only criteria that seems to matter to us writing something that sounds cool. But what if we used the same approach as the authors and filmmakers? What if we gave more thought to the story earlier in the songwriting process? These questions sparked an aha moment for me, and I immediately started experimenting with some ideas. Eventually, I came up with a tool that I now call the Song Narrative Framework. To learn more about the framework, check out the link in the description below where I review the framework in detail and show examples of how I used it for my own songs. But the basic idea is that you come up with a narrative either before or after you write a song part, and then map out how to use the six elements of music to tell this narrative. Going back to the beginning of this video, this is the type of tool that I wish existed when I was looking online for how to write songs. A higher level idea that helped me compose an interesting three to five minute piece of music, not just a video on melodies or chords. This simple but powerful tool has transformed my songwriting ability and enabled me to write songs that match my vision. And of course, my ability to tell stories with music has improved as well. If you're interested in trying out this framework for your own songs, I encourage you to visit toomanyhooks.com story to get my songwriting kit. It includes all the materials you need to get started, all for free. Also let me know in the comments below whether this concept of a song as an audio story resonates with you. As a creator of songs, do you see yourself as a storyteller as well? I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.